Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the Keyvote channel. Uh, my name's Gavin, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware by now. Um, I'm on my own today, crazy, I know. Our lovely Christine, who's usually doing the camera work, is, well, who knows where, but rest assured, she is alive, I think. But on a serious note, so today I want to talk about um, coils, okay? Now, it's a, it's a, uh, a topic that comes up a lot. Um, within the shop, it's something that, that I guess get asked on a daily basis, um, and that would be, what's the best coil? Um, so when we're talking about things like the the V the V8 coils, TFV8s, um, TFV12s, the va the Vaporesso uh, GTM coils, iJoy coils, and such. Um, now, including also the G Joy uh, JoyTech BF coils and things like that. Now the the reason I wanted to bring this up is that I've not seen it addressed, addressed to be honest with you, within the uh, within the industry necessarily, um, and it's something that um, I think does need addressing, just purely because it's 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 one of those topics that that if you're not like us, where you are really into your vaping stuff, you won't necessarily know, um, and I think it's important that we are able. Um, as a community to educate one another and for me this is something that we need to do regarding coils um, so like I say I'll have someone come in ask about the um, I don't know the baby TFV8 coils the big baby the baby coils um, you know what which is better the T6 T8 Q2 M2 blah 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 and a lot of people are convinced there is the best one and the truth of it is, is that there isn't. Not really, not really. I mean, it all comes down to personal choice, you know? Um, now, if there's a bad coil, i.e. just in general, it doesn't perform, It's it's got poor wicking capabilities, um, it's poor assembly, it's things like that, then yeah, okay, that's not a very good coil. But that isn't going into consideration the, uh, the, 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 the the ability of the coil in general. I mean, you might like a lot of vapor production. You might like a lot of airflow. You may not like, uh, well, that's as ridiculous as it sounds, too strong a flavor. Uh, you might like a tight draw on your, uh, on your airflow. And all these things matter. All these things matter. You know, at the end of the day, we're all different. That's what makes us all interesting. And we we all like different styles of vape, and this is why there's so many different coils on the market. Even just from one manufacturer, one model of tank, this is why we have so many different coils. And the reason we have this is just because it can tick all the boxes. You know, and the cynical people out there would say, "Well, it's just a marketing scheme. You know, it's just a money making way, way of making money." And I suppose to an extent, you could argue that that may be the case. Um, within the manufacturer's side of things. But it also gives you a lot of variety and a lot of choice. And so when we talk about which is the best, sorry guys, the, there isn't one. The, there isn't a best coil. Um, it is genuinely down to personal choice. You know, I mean, you could put two coils side by side, say, okay, this has got better airflow and better flavor. But when we talk about better airflow, better flavour, that's my opinion. That's what I like. Okay. If you then go and try it and you don't like it, then it's it's not the best coil for you. You see where I'm coming from with this. This is this is what's important to to to, to try and get across. It's the same thing with liquids. You know, what's the best liquid? There isn't one. There isn't the best liquid. We all like different flavours, different. Uh, sensations whether it's a bit of a throaty hit at the back a real smooth vape we're all different guys and I think that's important to grasp you know I don't I always, I don't like people leaving the shop that I work in funny enough key vape, um, feeling that they were wrong about a coil or they were wrong about a liquid it's not about that it's not about that at all it's all about me saying look give it a go yeah, if you don't like it, that just means that you didn't like it. It doesn't mean you were wrong. Um, and I think that's important to get across. Um, because the industry has got a lot of... has a lot of questions that not necessarily are answered. 
Um, and that sometimes I think that the people in the know, people like myself, um, take it for granted that everybody knows. You know, um, and it's not the case. So like I say, this was just going to be a short video. I just felt there's something I needed to address. I do apologise for the ramble. I know it wasn't necessarily the most um, coherent at times. But it's something that, that I needed to get off the chest. Um, and I think it's something that I'm glad that I did. Um, and I hope that you know some someone out there may have got something from this. Um, but please, let me know what your views are, what your opinions are. Let me know down below um, on the comment section. And uh, yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and now I'm out. But by all means, like I say, if you want to meet me in person and we can have this conversation in person, come over to uh, Keep Vaping Coal or in Haslinden, or uh, and yeah, we can have this chat. And obviously, of course, check out the products on uh, keyvape.co.uk. We've got some cracking devices and and coils and such. Funny enough, every coil under the sun, in fact. So um, yeah, go and check that out, guys. And like I say, if you haven't just subscribed yet, give us a little subscription if you want. Um, if you didn't like the video, by all means, give us a thumbs down. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. It's always truly appreciated. And uh, if you didn't like it, let's know why. You know, because in the day we want to improve ourselves. So thank you very much, guys. Have a great day, and uh, yeah, be good.